power to the people. Life is all about pushing back. You have to push back. If you don't push back, things happen. They assume that you're okay with it. And if you don't comply, then it cannot be acted upon. You know, common law, jurisdiction, is all about your compliance. That's why all those people that got arrested during lockdown for marching or for being outside or for walking their fucking dog around nobody and they were fined. Every single one that appealed against it in a court of law got it overturned. Now, what's happened is, and I know a lot of people thought it was a complete and utter waste of time, the petition, over 150,000 Chelsea fans joined in solidarity with the Chelsea manager and the Chelsea players. And I think this is really, really cool because what we've got right now, Dean has been put on guard and leave and he's been given a sabbatical, a moment to realign and rethink. And he's come out with an apology saying that, you know what, he got it wrong. Too fucking right he did. And Anthony Taylor realises the error of his ways too. Well, it's too little too late. We know we have a catalogue a catalogue of moments in time where he's fucked us. Totally and utterly fucked us. It's not a coincidence. It is exactly what it is. We all know before he officiated the game at the weekend that something was gonna happen. And it did. So my argument is this. Great, thanks for your apologies that have made you realize because of the pushback, but it's not good enough. We lost two points. We have to take it on the fucking chin. And it's not fair. It's just not fucking fair. All those moments where we've been denied, you know, situations, just not just points in football games, but even FA Cup finals. It's a joke. It's a fucking joke. And I so, so hope that he never officiates another fucking Chelsea game ever again. And something needs to be done in terms of compensation because right now, whatever points we end on at the end of this particular season, I'll be adding two points onto it because that is the fucking truth. We were denied a victory, superior against the so-called side that's gonna fucking topple us and finish in front of us. Get fucked. We were better than them in every single aspect. And uh, I'm just pleased that together we've acted as one. United we stand, divided we fall. Uh, you know, it's what happens in life, you know? You have to fucking push back. Anyway, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Much love and up on the fucking chills.